I'm delighted to be here at New College Oxford with Professor Susan Bright, uh, who with me is going to be presenting our upcoming Blundell Lecture on a topic which is extremely important, I think, to all of us at the present time, which is fire safety in residential uh, dwellings and, uh, in particular, the liability issues that arise out of those. So, Susan, uh, what are you going to be uh, talking about? So, for the lecture, we've decided to adopt what I call the sandwich format. So, I'm doing a bit at the beginning and a bit at the end, and you're providing the meat in the middle. Uh, so, so, the first bit of the, uh, of the lecture, I'm going to be really recapping on what's been going on since the Grenfell Tower fire and looking at the scale of the problem and how it's come about and the impact it's having, not just in terms of the law, but the impact it's having on people's lives and the sort of costs and so on that they're incurring. And then from that, I also step back a little bit to look more broadly at the response of landlords and freeholders to the problem and generally within leasehold law. And that's, that's setting the groundwork for what I'm going to be covering in the final part of the lecture. But before we get to that final part, Paul's going to just say a little bit about his his meat filling to the uh, lecture. Well, I'm, g I'm going to um, cover the liability issues um, between landlords and tenants and look at some of the detail there. Uh, and then look at the extent to which they can recover their costs, whether they cost the cladding or other fire safety measures from waking watch or other temporary or uh, intermediate measures uh, that uh, are carried out. The extent to which they can recover those from others, whether developers, main contractors, consultants, uh, professionals in the building control sector. So I want to look at uh, some of the case law and, and possibilities there. And then I'll hand back to you for more of the um, blue sky thinking. Great, so the final part of the lecture then is going to be what Paul's referred to as my blue sky thinking, where I'm working from the basis that we have this notion of property, which is very little uh, linked nowadays to the idea of propriety. So we have the um, current approach that landlords can look after number one. And my argument is that we need to rethink the paradigm that we apply to the leaseholder and landlord relationship. And I'm going to be making the case that we need to think of landlords differently and think of them as carrying stewardship and fiduciary duties so that they have a responsibility to look after the asset well for current and future generations, but also to look out for the best interests of the leaseholders. Be really interested to see uh, what you make of that argument because I, I think it could be a bit of a game changer for how we understand landlord and tenants and the way the law responds to some of the problems that we can see at the moment. Thank you, Sue. Well, we look forward to seeing you at the lecture. Do join us then.